Today, I'm gonna go over a product that no IT tech should be without because you can fit so many Linux ISOs on this thing. What are you doing? Everything is square. I need all of my stuff to be square. It's gotta be, I have to have a square space. Are you talking about square space? Yes, yes. The best way to grow your business is to have a square space. No, it's squarespace.com. What? Yeah, squarespace.com. It's the best place to get started growing your business. Don't settle for less. Build your website with Squarespace. With their award-winning templates, you can build a website in no time. Their interface makes it easy to not only build, but manage the behind the scenes with powerful tools to optimize SEO, email campaigns, and online stores. And with robust built-in analytics, you'll have all the numbers you need to keep your project growing. Visit squarespace.com slash craft computing and get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash craft computing. And again, thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Welcome back to Craft Computing, everyone. As always, I'm Jeff. So I was browsing Amazon the other day and I came across a product that honestly, I don't know why I didn't know existed before this point, And that is the IODD ST400. Now, SSD enclosures are nothing new in the IT space, nor is carrying around a couple USB sticks in your pocket in case you need to boot to a Linux or Windows installable environment. But having a two and a half inch SSD caddy that will allow you to mount ISOs, that's a concept that I wish I would have known about a decade ago. Full disclosure, I bought this off Amazon with my own money, so no disclosures are necessary. Obviously, no money changed hands except me to them. So my opinions are going to be my own. So out of the box, this is pretty much just a standard two and a half inch hard drive enclosure. You should be able to use either a mechanical or an SSD based drive. And the really cool part about this is all of the additional features you get once you can actually get it out of the plastic wrap. All right, quick start guide. This supports two and a half inch, seven millimeter or less thick. Uh, I don't know why that needed to be specified, but uh, solid state or HDD drives. Now this is the ST400 and it is the top end model that they offer with pretty much every feature that you could possibly ask for. This includes virtual drive support, encryption, admin mode, write protect, win to go, which I believe is their Windows bootable feature, as well as ADM, but I'm not sure what ADM means. So we will dive into all of that as we get this thing completely set up. But like I mentioned, the really cool part is this is just basically a two and a half inch SSD caddy. So the back slides right off like that. I've got an Intel uh, SSD Pro 2500 series 480 gig drive that we're just going to slip right inside of there. There we go and seal it back up. So why do I say this is probably going to be an invaluable piece of kit for any IT or field technician's bag? Well, it's because all of us tend to carry around bootable USB sticks, whether it's for a live Linux desktop for troubleshooting hardware issues, a WDS or Windows installer, or any installer for whatever hypervisor or NAS system you want to boot onto a server, whether it's TrueNAS, Proxmox, VMware, or the like. But how many times have you put in a USB stick into the back of a server and it not be the right bootable Linux environment? Uh, honestly, I just format every USB stick every time I need to boot because chances are I don't have the right ISO installed on here. Well, with something like this, you can load this up with all of your installable ISOs and boot directly off of them. There's no hardware or setup required. You can select the ISO on the screen itself and then simply boot up to the environment that you need. Obviously, the main appeal of this is to use it for bootable ISOs, and that's certainly why I bought it. The SD400 is compatible with GPT and MBR partition types, as well as NTFS, XFAT, and FAT32 file systems, though not all features are supported on all file systems. More on that in just a minute. Since getting this thing out of the box, I've been playing with it for about 20 minutes now, and plugging in the ST400 for the first time will power up the screen, as well as mount the physical disc and a virtual optical drive to your PC. 
For demonstration purposes, I went ahead and split the Intel 480GB SSD into two partitions, one using XFAT and the other using NTFS, though you could just format the drive with a single file system if that fits your needs. All that's required to use the ST400 for mounting ISOs is to load the ISO files onto the drive and then select which one you want mounted from the built-in LCD. In my case, I'm going to create an ISO folder for storing my bootable images and then further organize those by creating folders for OS installs like Proxmox, PopOS, TrueNAS, etc. Mounting the ISO images could not be simpler. On the ST400, just navigate to the ISO screen, select which OS that I want, and then click on the bootable ISO. Your PC will automatically have a disk inserted into the virtual optical drive, and you're ready to use it or boot from it. Whereas carrying around a dozen or so USB keys in your pocket is kind of unrealistic, and imaging a bootable drive if you don't have the proper OS on it can take anywhere from 5 to 20 minutes, just calling up one to mount from is going to be life-changing for some technicians. I did find one minor downside to the device though, and that's that there's no way to automatically mount an ISO when the device is powered on. When you plug in the ST400 into your PC, you have to select which ISO to load up each and every time. For booting up to a server, that's not a big deal, as most of the servers in my rack have post times of between 2 and 5 minutes. Modern UEFI PCs, though, often post in 10 seconds or less, and for most of that time, the USB ports aren't even receiving power yet. In order to boot from an ISO file, you'll need to plug in the ST400 to your PC, then go to the Boot Selection menu in your BIOS. Then, on the ST400, select which ISO you want to boot from and mount it to the virtual optical drive. Finally, just select the optical drive on your PC and install your OS. On top of ISOs, virtual hard drives or VHD files can be mounted and emulated as well as either USB attached storage or as a physical hard drive, allowing you to install Windows or other OSs that don't allow installation onto a USB disk. And here's where one major downside comes in as far as file systems are concerned. Where you can use any file system on the ST400 to mount an ISO image, the use of VHDs requires you to have an NTFS format. There are a couple things to keep in mind with this, as NTFS is not natively supported by macOS or Linux, at least without third-party tools. That might make management a little difficult if you're wanting to enable VHD functionality, but your laptop runs something other than Windows. IODD offers a tool for creating VHDs and managing other features on the drive, but that software is Windows only. Again, plugging in the ST400 and loading it with ISOs can be done when the drive is XFAT formatted, so writing files for macOS or Linux isn't a problem. But if you want to create multiple boot disks for Linux recovery environments or a live Windows drive, managing that outside of a Windows OS is going to cause some headaches. VHDs are limited to fixed size only, so dynamic scaling isn't possible as your storage needs grow. Neither are VHDX files supported. However, once you create a VHD, you can format it with whatever file system you want, whether it be FAT-based, NTFS, or even EX4 or Apple's APFS, allowing selectable boot storage partitions to be loaded whenever you need them. Also, unlike the optical drive emulation, when you select a VHD to mount, it automatically mounts each and every time you power up the drive, meaning you don't have to race the clock to select a bootable VHD when turning on your PC. One other main feature that the ST400 has that IT techs may be interested in is the use of onboard hardware AES-256 encryption. That means anything that you put onto this drive can be encrypted at the hardware level. So even if someone gets a hold of your drive and pulls it out of the case, you don't have to worry about it being decrypted and your contents being lost. Again, while IODD does offer a Windows-based tool for managing different users on the drive, you can also create users and passwords directly on the drive itself from the LCD screen, which I think is a fantastic feature to have. And that's pretty much going to do it. It's a very simple device, but again, if you're an IT tech, a field technician, or anyone who formats drives quite frequently, or even if you're someone who needs to use different drives on multiple operating systems at the same time, this is, I think, an invaluable bit of kit to add to your tool bag. If you're interested in picking up the IODD ST400 for yourself, I will have affiliate links down in the video description. Go give those a look. On your way down there, make sure to drop this video a like and subscribe to Craft Computing if you haven't done so already. Follow me on Twitter at Craft Computing for daily shenanigans like this. 
And if you like the content you see on this channel and want to help support me in what I do, consider joining the Patreon. Link is also down in the video description. That's going to do it for me in this one. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Cheers, guys. You can tell it's good coffee when it's even good cold.